eating something. So we got that one right there, close. There's one back there, trying to get into a room, but I didn't see anyone actually in there. There's a pillow over there. Huh. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Well, isn't there something about that you can shoot through a pillow? Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. We can hide by that pickup. Right? I saw one working on the other side of that car. Where to next? I'll cover you if you sneak over to the RV. We can probably make it over to the RV. Or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. Right. gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Hmm. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? That's what I already did, sorry. Oh, just this again. I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. That one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. Yeah, no, don't underestimate them. Okay, so those are both the same. Right. Gotcha. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. <laughs> good thing zombies are not good at noticing subtlety. Anything in here of interest? Well, I guess we could if we need to push it. Oh, hey, a spark plug. No, no one that'll come in handy. Well, we should be able to push it now if need be. Spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Alright, we'll keep that in mind. Right, so can we do anything with that spark plug? Something inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. All right. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Was it? <sighs> Apparently, that was what I wanted to do. Whew. Okay, I could never say that I screwed up. What's that?
That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Right. So, if we're gonna do be all zombie assassin about this, I guess we should sneak up behind that guy over there. Grim, but efficient. All right. Oh dear. This is definitely not my most preferred weapon. I prefer something bigger and with more. Oh dear. Right, we're kind of going in circles now, I just noticed. We can hide by that RV. And be quiet and keep our heads down. Alright, there's like three zombies left. If we put we the gear on the car, so we could push it. If we can push it closer to the guy by the wall, we can get up behind him and stab it. Stab, stab! I completely forgot about that for a sec. Right. All right. Let's push the car. Oh, and he's buying fire axe. Not very sympathetic to their own kind, are they? These aren't dead. There we go. I mean, I could take the axe first and kill him with it, but I better be on the safe side. Dude, where'd your weapon go? <laughs> Holy shit! It's cool. Now we've got this. Exactly. Are you two done? Oh, let us enjoy the moment. Any time anything, anything, anything actually goes right, that's worth celebrating. Alright. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Keep an eye on the open areas, you know, in case we have more zombies. Surprise! Rad. Okay. Hello, Missy. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Maybe she's bitten. Huh. Oh, 
Oh, that was easy. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. Oh. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Huh. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. I guess we really don't have a choice. Okay. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Yeah, it's sad, but it has to be done. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Thank you. For what it's worth. And rest in peace. For what it's worth. Can't save everyone. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Yeah, we've been working quite hard on this. How are you guys holding up? Hey, guys. If you don't mind, I think my family and I are going to rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Will do. Wesley, he... Hmm, can't see him, man. Maybe he's not in here then. Oh, there he is! Sorry, I kind of loved you. Are you okay? No, Are Glenn, you know sorry. Man? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know? You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. <laughs> You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Ah. Uh. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the yeah. feeling, man. 
that feeling sucks, but Probably sometimes you can't. <laughs> yeah, right. Hmm. Hey, can I borrow that gun of yours now? Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. <laughs> I better get back to it. Yep. I don't think there'll be Thanks, much of a... By the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yes, yeah. I, I remember that I piece will. of dialogue. Well, I have an axe now. Maybe I can just axe the door down. Jeez, this doesn't look good. Yeah, okay, that's probably not going to happen. But hey, you can try it. <coughs> yeah, steel, not gonna work. Good idea though, in theory. Right, right, so somebody, something to break the glass. What could it be? Jeez!